Dark Morph. One adult. Yep. I'm gonna give you a left pez. Last night we went out to monitor the nocturnal species that we've reintroduced to Mulligan's Flat, our outdoor laboratory that's on the edge of Canberra. These are eastern quolls. They're small carnivorous marsupials and the smaller cousins of Tasmanian devils. They became extinct on the mainland in about the 1960s, but we've reintroduced them to Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary in the corner of the ACT. For each animal that we caught, we would weigh them. We would take a DNA sample for genetic testing, a scat sample, which is important for determining their diet. Yeah, we spend as little time having them be processed as possible. So last night we happened to catch a quoll that had already been caught by another member of our team not 200 metres away. So clearly she wasn't very stressed by the process and was more interested in the bait than anything else. Thanks everyone for coming to tonight's monitoring session. The eastern quolls have been established in Mulligan's Flat for ooh, seven years now. The time has flown. So that means that we can start looking at not only post-release effects, so the process of getting them established, but also what happens when the animals start to reach carrying capacity. Carrying capacity is when the species reaches the maximum amount that can be held by its environment. So at Mulligan's Flat, I've found out that we can hold roughly about 51 individuals, and that's during the breeding season when they're at their lowest point. So if half of those are females, each of them can have six young. So very quickly in spring and early summer, we get overrun with baby quolls and <laughs> quite a few of them end up jumping over the fence into the surrounding landscape. And what's really nice about that is uh, our partners have erected a new conservation fence around Gariru Nature Reserve. My goal is to get Mulligan's Flat into a position where it has a behaviourally and genetically diverse population that can seed into not only other sanctuary reintroductions, but also a conservation strategy beyond the fence.